Chromebooks are very different to other laptops that are out there on the market. So what is a Chromebook? Before Google Chromebooks, we had netbooks. Netbooks were very lightweight laptops, very tiny laptops um, that normally ran um, Linux and everything you did on them, you had to kind of be connected to the internet to use it. And then after that, Chromebooks came along. Chromebooks run Chrome OS, an operating system that was designed and built by Google, and it's based on Google Chrome browser. So everything you do, or the majority of things you do, on a Chromebook is browser-based. You're using a Chrome OS browser window. Because a lot of what you do on a Chromebook is in Chrome browser window, it means that a Chromebook, to get the most functionality out of it, you have to be connected to the internet. These days, with 4G and broadband at home, that's not such a big deal anymore. Because Chrome OS is a Google-built operating system, as you'd imagine, it's heavily integrated into the other Google services, such as Google Docs, Google Drive, Google Mail, all those things. Uh, it's heavily integrated into that. Chromebooks don't come with a lot of storage. They come with about 8 or 16 gig of onboard storage. The idea is, and the default location when you save stuff on a Chromebook is actually Google Drive. But don't worry about that. If you don't use Google Drive, you can also add your OneDrive onto it and also Dropbox along with other storage services. Chrome OS has its own web store where you can download extensions and apps to improve the functionality of your Chromebook. And now there's actually Chromebooks that support the use of Android apps, which brings the whole Android marketplace into your Google Chromebook. Is a Chromebook right for you? That's individual choice. But if you want to make a good decision on that, best thing to do is, if you're currently using a different laptop, sit down on your laptop, go through stuff you do, and just put a tick next to it if you use a browser to do that thing. And once you finish that, if everything you're doing, or the majority of stuff you're doing, is browser-based, then a Chromebook will work for you. I hope you found this quick overview of Chromebooks really useful. If you have, please give me the thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and um, thanks for watching.